guys, this is Bring Them Back Again for another present video. Well, I already talked about Millard Fillmore, so today I'm going to tell you all about a new president, and his name is Ulysses S. Grant. Well, here we go! Ulysses S. Grant was a general for the Union Army during the Civil War, and later became the 18th president during the period of Reconstruction. Grant was born in a small village on April 27, 1822. His name was actually Hiram Ulysses Grant, even though hardly anyone remembers that. While Grant was at West Point University, the people there made a mistake and enrolled him under the name Ulysses S. Grant. Grant accepted the mistake, even though he was nervous when the people spelled out, hug. During that time, Grant became a powerful and respected leader. Once, during the Mexican-American War, he was sent to go to a town filled with snipers. Instead, Grant ignored the message and thought the idea was for him. When the Civil War broke out, Grant wanted to join the army and fight for his country. He served as a colonel, but he was able to help the Union Army in his later years. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln appointed him Lieutenant General, giving him command of all the U.S. armies. His success wore down the Confederate Army, and more than a year later, he accepted General Robert E. Lee's surrender. After the war, he became a national hero, and he was also the youngest man to become the 18th President of the United States. He had a lot of things to do, although he had much corruption in the government. He ran for two terms but did not seek a third and went back to the White House with relief. In his later years, he began writing articles about his war experiences. Grant died on July 23, 1885, and his burial site in New York City is a national landmark.